Welcome to another of my YouTube video tutorial series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to draw the interpenetration for uh, two cylinders. So the first step is to divide this into a number of equal parts. In this case, I'll be using eight equal parts. Well, let, let, let me use 12. 12. So I click here, divide. And number of segments I want is 12. Right, so this is now divided into 12 equal parts. My next step is to use rectangles from these points. Well, what I could have done, I could have labeled this, which in most cases is what I normally do. But I'll be using a slightly different technique for, for this one. So I go to rectangle. Oh, well, well the principle of this is that um, the point here goes across. Each of these come down where it meets here. So let me explain. So this is one point. That point comes down here. Come touch and touch onto this and goes across. And that creates one point. So this point comes across here, goes down, touches the 45 degree angle, goes across. That creates one point, which is it, the starting point. The starting point is here. The second point is this one. So space bar create rectangle. Left click here. Go down to create my rectangle. I go down and I ensure that this touch this line touches that line there. Oh delete. So it's best to turn off node in this case. So I will be doing that. So I go O snap S N A P. Enter and I'm turning off this. Click snap on. What this does, this deactivates all the nodes, all the, the um snap points. Okay. Now back to rectangle. Left click on to rectangle, then go up to this point, left click here, then I go down. At the point where the rectangle touches at 45 degree, I bring that point across, bring that point across to touch the circumference, which is exactly here. Left click there. And this now is the, the, the second point for the interpenetration. I press space bar, then I go up to the third point, which is here, left click here. Then I go down to that, left click there, that's another one, space bar to reactivate, go up to this, left click here, and I ensure that this touches that and also touches this point. Space bar to reactivate. I come here and I go down, down to the point where that touches there. In this case, this will reproduce itself. I go back up here, space bar from here. Up and I go to this point. Don't do that. Click right there. And, uh, two to go. Space bar to react. Oh, that is the area there. One to go. Left click here. 
And again, I bring this down to that or to the end here. And I left click there. Now, the next step is simply to plot these points. And I next I change to my outline layer. Left click onto my outline layer. Then type splat, then type spl for the spline. It's spl and the key. Then start plotting. Now I want to turn on my object snap to ensure that I'm able to snap onto the end of these points. So I type O S N A P enter. O S N A P object snap enter. And I click on this right here. Then OK. Click here. Then go down to OK. OK. Now type spline S P L for spline. Enter. Then left click here. Left click there. Left click. It's good to turn off author mode in this case. Left click. Left click here. Then drag out a little bit. Drag out some more. Click. Enter. Then type them. PR enter, enter. And that is done. Just like that, we you do have a penetration quick and fast. So let me explain the principle here. The principle here is that each of these points goes across horizontally and also goes down vertically and come 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 and goes across to touch the circumference. Touch the circumference here. Then I that point is brought up. Typically, how most persons tend to do this, they will draw a line across here, draw some line here, then draw the next line up. But, but, I have discovered a more advanced technique, or I came up with a technique which can help me to go much faster. So this is it. Oh, this is not the right size. So this is not the right size. How do I fix this? Rectangle again. In this case, let me change. Well, let me use that layer. Left click here. Left click here. And I bring this down to that, down to the circumference. That's this one. And the next point would have been here, would have been right here. So I track a line from here, or I use rectangle, and I track this point from here. No, rectangle. R E C and the this point from here, and then to here. Then trim. E R and the and no, I can delete this. And I now have the correct end for that. Yes, so that's how we draw the front end and plan for uh, or the interpenetration. That's basically what I draw. The front end and plan was drawn before.